Hello everyone, Tom Pounder, and welcome back for another episode of the Family Chit Chat. Today we're going to talk about a really important mission that Jesus gave his closest friends. And I want to ask you to start things off is, have you ever been given a really important mission? Have you ever been given a really important task to do? It could be from your parents or from a friend or from a brother or sister or from a teacher. It could be from anybody, but they say it's a really important thing that you do. Hey, what was that? Hey, what I want you to do right now is I want you to think about that, share it with your friends and your family, but also read this passage about the important mission that Jesus gave his friends. And I want you to think about what did Jesus encourage them with as a way to give them comfort on this important mission, okay? Read the story right now, answer these few questions, and when you're done, press play and we'll continue. So Jesus had just risen from the grave. He spent some time with his friends, and now he's getting ready to go up to be with God. And he ascends into heaven. And before he does that, though, he gives them an important mission. Do you remember what it was? It was to go and make disciples of all nations. Basically, it was saying, go and tell other people about Jesus and about God and help them come into a relationship with him. It was a really important mission. It was a really important thing for them to do. And so whenever you're given an important mission, sometimes you might be a little bit afraid. And sometimes you might be a little worried about what's going to happen. Can I really, really do this? And I love the challenge that Jesus gives them at the very end of that, where he says, go and tell other people about Jesus. He says, I will be with you. I will be with you. In fact, that's what our bottom line is today. Keep going because God is with you. Keep going because God is with you. Hey, when you tell other people about Jesus, it can be really hard. It's not an easy thing to do because some people think that they don't need Jesus and they don't need God in their lives. But the cool thing is what Jesus promises us is that he'll be with us. And so all we have to do is before we go and share about him to other people and go tell people about him is that we can know that God is with us and spend time praying and say, God, please be with me at this time. And God is going to be with you. Again, because the bottom line is keep going because God is with you. God is with you always, and he will help you as you share about other people. So I want to encourage you, think about someone that you can tell about Jesus to today and see what happens. And But before you do it, pray to God that he'll be with you, and I guarantee you he's going to be with you today. All right, as we wrap up today, I want to encourage you, if you've got stories about how you felt God with you in the past when you've told people about Jesus, hey, put it in the comment section below. I would love to hear your thoughts on that. All right, also, as I wrap up, I want to go over a memory verse, a new memory verse that we can look at for the next few weeks. It's this, Isaiah 40, 31. But those who trust in the Lord will receive new strength. They will fly as high as eagles. They will run and not get tired. They will walk and not grow weak. Hey, you will receive new strength when you put your trust in God each and every time, whether it's to share about him to someone else or do something else where you're taking a next step of faith. God is with you and he will give you strength to do that today. All right, everyone. Well, thanks so much for joining me today and I'll see you next week with a whole new story. Have a great week, everyone.